Cessna 172 is the most manufactured aircraft globally and the flagship product for lightweight airplanes. Here is why this airplane is so amazing and stands in a world of its own. There are more than 44,000 Cessna 172 deliveries, making it the world's most manufactured aircraft and the driving force of Cessna aircraft's commercial success. By the mid-1970s, manufactured 172 helped push Cessna's total manufactured single-engine airplanes past the 100,000 mark, beating its closest competitors by miles. Cessna 172 is a special aircraft that brought a breath of fresh air to the industry when individuals and commercial airlines wanted an efficient aircraft with reduced maintenance and fuel costs. It is still very efficient and is generally used as a training aircraft and for charter service. This video will highlight everything to know about Cessna 172. But before we get on to that, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Also, have a look at our exclusive members-only perks by clicking the Join button on our channel. If you are into aviation, have a look at our new aviation compilation channel, Aviation Central. It is the first link in the description. We would highly appreciate it. So without further ado, let's begin the video. Cessna 172 is a single-engine four-seat, high-wing, fixed-wing aircraft that came into the limelight on January 2, 1955. It is also known as the Skyhawk due to its design and appearance. Initially, only trim packages were designated Skyhawk before it became a generally adopted term for all 172s. Specially upgraded versions of the 172 are designated Cutlass. Development for the 172 began when Cessna Aircraft Company sought to develop a model that could improve on its 1,948 tail dragger Cessna 170. The plan was to introduce a new tricycle landing gear instead of the traditional landing gear for better effectiveness and efficiency. There was no plan to assign the new model a distinct type or certification. Before the tricycle landing gear phase, the new model was designated the Cessna 170C and was powered by a Continental O300A engine. It had slightly larger elevators and a more angular tail fin compared to the original tail dragger. The tricycle landing gear, which is the most significant change in the 170C, was the last affected modification. It flew again as 170C on June 12, 1955 with Cessna looking to stick with the designation to avoid the cost and time it would take to get a certification as a distinct type. It was later named the 172 under the Cessna 170 and was very similar to the tail dragger in appearance. However, skyrocketing demands pushed Cessna into finally acknowledging the model as a distinct type while keeping the 172 name. Within one year of release, Cessna reached an unprecedented 1,400 deliveries for the 172, smashing records for biggest airplane sales in a debut year. Compared to the 170, the early models of the Cessna 172 didn't look so different. They had the same straight-aft fuselage, making it easy to confuse one for the other. However, while the 170 had a rounded fin and rudder, a typical 172 had a straight tail fin. The first set of 172, ranging from 172A to 172C, maintained very similar designs to the 170. It was not until 1963 that the aircraft began to take its own shape when the 172D version was introduced. The 172D and later models have a lower rear deck that accommodates an aft window. The additional window offers unique visibility and was initially advertised by Cessna as the Omnivision. The advert achieved its purpose as sales soared from 1963 up to 1981. The company stopped production of the aircraft in the mid-1980s, but resumed production roughly 10 years later, in 1996. The new designs after resumption were designated Cessna 172R Skyhawk and came with better power plants. There are many variants of the Cessna 172, with several based on individual customization demand or some on special requirements. However, they generally have close to the same specification with very few differences. The four Cs of the aircraft have three dedicated for passengers and one for the pilot. The plane is actually quite small and stretches a total of 27 feet, 2 inches. 
The high wings are one of its unique features, with both spanning a total of 36 feet and 1 inch. A typical Cessna 172 has an empty weight of 1,691 pounds and a gross weight of 2,450 pounds. Both weight ranges were expertly designated by Cessna engineers so that the plane could operate with minimal maintenance cost. The maximum fuel capacity of the aircraft is 211 liters. In the U.S., that is exactly 56 gallons. It runs on a single eye coming IO 360 L2, a four-cylinder, horizontally opposed engine with a capacity of 160 horsepower. The 172 is quite big on speed for a lightweight aircraft. It has a never exceed speed of 302 km per hour and cruises at 226 km per hour. Its stall speed is 87 km per hour. Combining its cruise speed with a range of 1,289 km per hour, the 172 can complete international and intercontinental travels. This was proven when a Cessna 172 was the centerpiece of a world record set by Tim and John Cook in December 1958. Both men set the world record for flight endurance with a Cessna 172 and 9,172 B after sitting out a flight that lasted from December 4, 1958 to February 7, 1959. They took off from Las Vegas McCarran Airfield Airport and landed in the same airport after 64 days, 22 hours, 19 hours, and 5 seconds. The journey was in solidarity with Damon Runyon Cancer Fund. The aircraft was immediately put up for display at McCarran International Airport. The high-level endurance ability of the 172 also drove up its demand from that time up to the early 2000s. The airplane's climb rate is 721 feet per minute. While its maximum altitude is 13,500 feet, which is high enough for a nice aerial view. Cessna's design and efficiency made it a public darling and an overnight sales success. To date, it is still desired by private individuals and commercial airlines. Its selling price is also very encouraging. A new Cessna 172 extended version is sold for around $4 million while used models are sold between $4,000 to $8,000. The airplane has been successful in civil utility and military roles, training roles, and charter services. By longevity and popularity, it is the most successful aircraft in history. Cessna 172 does not have any real competitors. Several aircraft have been designed to challenge its dominance, with the Beechcraft Musketeer and Grumman AA-5 series, being the two most notable rivals in its earlier years. It, however, outdid both in popularity and efficiency, forcing both companies to shut down their projects. More recent competitors still in production are the Cirrus SR-20 and Diamond DA-40, which are nowhere near the 172 public acceptance. Cessna 172 role in the military is well recognized. The 172 variant designated as the T-41 Mescalero, is used as a trainer aircraft by the United States Air Force and Army. The United States Border Patrol also uses several fleets of 172s for surveillance on the shared border of the United States and Mexico to keep off illegal immigrants. The Irish Air Corps also use the Reams version of the 172 for general aerial surveillance and for monitoring prisoner transporting vans. The country's military also uses it for training. Many other countries also have at least one Cessna 17 in their air force. Some major countries include Shell, Iraq, Singapore, and Saudi Arabia. 21 country militaries are confirmed to use the Cessna 172 for aerial surveillance and other dedicated roles. For an aircraft that has registered more than 44,000 deliveries and millions of flight hours across different models, it is fair to state that Cessna 172 is a safe aircraft. There have been nine recorded accidents, with the majority happening just before the turn of the 21st century. However, the most recent aircraft was on November 11, 2021, and involved a profile personality, Glenn DeVries, co-founder of Metadata Solutions and Blue Origin Space Tourist. He was killed after the plane crashed in a heavily wooded area near Hampton Township, New Jersey. Cessna 172 success is majorly due to its special size. 
It is not the biggest air crowd, and neither does it offer the biggest luxuries. However, it is very affordable, with priced ranges within the capacity of well-to-do, average-earning individuals. It is easy to run, and maintenance costs are not extremely high. It is still in production to date, despite inspiring the Cessna 175 Skylark. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Click the links above to check out some of our other videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. We have many great videos coming up. See you in the next video.